Hey guys, how you doing in this wonderful weekend? Battlefist, welcome into another video. Uh, today I decide to talk about the add-ons that I'm using, which add-ons are doing like the most efficient job in the things they do, and I will make a list, uh, you can find the link in the description, I'll make a list of all of my add-ons that I'm using uh, currently, with links to where the, you can download them from, short description, and if you want me to also, just let me know down in the comments, or you can comment on the blog if you want to, uh, if you want me, I can post the settings for certain add-ons. I cannot post for everything because I don't think that everything is exportable. But for the add-ons that I can export the settings, let me know which add-on you want me to and I will post like uh, on, on the blog uh, some, some links to that stuff. So you can download the settings and make your UI look similar to mine, right? So uh, this is how the UI looks like. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna uh, just disable the camera for a second so you can see full screen of that stuff. This is how the chat looks like. This is how the add-ons look like. Uh, and I will talk about these stuffs now. So... You know what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to open up the add-ons list and I will go through the uh, add-ons and tell you which add-ons does what and where they are positioned and how you can set them up and all that stuff. So let me just turn on the camera scene so you can see me and also, okay guys, so in the previous year or so I have tested like 20 UIs, you know, probably more even, but 20 I have tested Overwatch, LVI, Louis, Mui, all, all of those uh, UIs popular and not popular uh, that you can find. And I haven't found so far anything that performs better than Alts UI because Alts UI is an add-on that combines a lot of things uh, together and it uh, uses like a really low amount of memory and CPU usage and it gives you really pleasing uh, appearance to your uh, frames and also it performs really good. You have settings, you have its own, you know, like UI and settings and it all looks transparent, nothing stand in the, uh, stands in the way. So it looks similar to LVUI. But it's not LVI and it, it, it cannot be because it's, it, you know, it's completely different, you know. I have tried uh, LVI for a long time and I didn't really, you know, like, I, I didn't really like it compared to Elf, uh, Alts UI. So, Alts UI is the UI that I'm using and I always come back to Alts UI because of that reason. And uh, that's the UI that I'm currently using. Now, uh, let me just go to the next add-on. So, Aurora Classic is an that comes with Alts UI. Autoresponder Reborn, that's something that I use usually to spam stuff. Azeroth Autopilot and Zygor Guides are two add-ons that are used for kind of leveling. Uh, Zygor Guide has a lot of other modules uh, and it's paid add-on, Zygor Guide, it's paid add-on. I, I don't have affiliate link or something, but I'm gonna link it anyway for you so you can download if you want, I mean, so you can buy it if you want to. But uh, you have an uh, alternative which is Azeroth Autopilot, of course it performs lower than Zygor Guide, because Zygor is like really big add-on that has been spent like years of development and stuff, and you have like pet battles, uh, reputation guides and all that stuff, but uh, Azeroth Autopilot is a really nice alternative if you don't want to pay any money for it, 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 it does almost the same job. Uh, then you have Bank Stack, which is add-on that sorts your bags, you see for the normal UI, uh, I mean for normal Blizzard UI, you have a clean up, you know, clean up bags button, right? Well, you know, this button really doesn't perform good in my opinion because it, it sorts your ba uh, your items indeed but it sorts them up and it messes them up it messes them up so I don't like how that sorts the add-ons up so bank stack it's something that you can set up ignore slots like it, it will ignore this look look right so I click bank stack and it will sort my bags right sometimes not full but anyway it sorts the bags really nice way uh, it, it sorts first the soul bound items the rare then the green uh, the green soul bound, then the green bind on picked up, then the trade goods, and then the trash and all that stuff. So it sorts them in a nice way, and you can set this, uh, you know, like commonly not moved items or something like hearthstones and stuff to not being moved around. You know, but that that, uh, that pisses me off a lot. Oh, gun shoes, nice. Anyway, um, let's go. Battleground Enemies is an add-on that I'm using when I do uh, BGs and people are constantly asking me, yo, what's that frame on the right where you can select people from the BG and stuff? Well, Battleground Enemies put that frame there and you can target and you can see how many people are actually targeting the same target. You can focus target, you can see what they're uh, doing, who is carrying the flag and who is healer, that kind of stuff. It's really handy if you're doing RBGs or rated BGs or something, it's really handy. Big debuffs, I don't know why do I have this add-on, I probably need to disable it. Uh, it's uh, it makes the normal raid frames of Blizzard. It makes the buffs like the debuffs that are you know your teammates are getting a little bit bigger. So if you're a healer or something, you can notice them better. So big wings is a add-on. If you don't know, it's a raiding add-on. So this is how my big wings setups look looks like. Let me just close the camera for a sec. Uh, so 
let me just create some test bars while I'm explaining. So this is the the you know big wings. This is how I set up on my UI, so it blends out perfectly uh, with uh, all the other add-ons. Uh, the bars are looking really nice. I mean, everything looks really nice. You can set them up really everything. You know, it's customizable, customizable, whatever. So yeah, Big Wings is an add-on that is used for raiding, you know, but also later, you know, I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna come to the Little Wings, which is also for Mythic Plus and for Dungeons. This is for raids, right? So that's basically what it does. It puts counters, it gives you some awareness of certain abilities and all that stuff. Bob Fast Loot is uh, similar to out Loot Plus. Uh, when you farm and when you need to loot a lot of mobs or something, well, Bob Fast Loot will not open the raid frame, uh, I mean the, the loot frame, it will instantly loot everything, so it increases the loot speed a lot, but also it causes some issues if, with some add-ons, so make sure to know when you need to use it. You know, I recommend it, but, you know, just, yeah. Be aware. Uh, class colors it's, uh, comes from Alt UI as well. I mean, with Alt UI, it's not from Alt UI. But it comes with, uh, as you can see, change the class color without breaking parts of the default UI. So it's really nice and it comes with Alt UI. Uh, details is my, you know, uh, frames here that are showing me damage done, healing done, interrupts, damage taken, all that stuff. And also this stuff is from Alt UI, which shows uh, my which shows my DPS real time pretty much. So for streaming, it's really nice to have this because people can see like how much DPS you're doing on on there. So you don't have to look on, on, on all these big numbers. Also I need to remove this stuff there. Uh, okay, what's next? Let's go. Uh, details is that easy scrap is a nice add-on that you need to have if you're crafting a lot of stuffs and you want to scrap them or if you farm a lot of stuff and you want to scrap them easy scrap it just puts like a really nice frame on your uh, scrap machine that will allow you to just you know queue up some items what uh, you want to scrap next and all that you can ignore items as well from scrapping so yeah ek plates it, uh, it's an add-on that uh, i mean it's pretty much give, giving you these frames that this ui gives you without installing the full ui so if you want to have the arrow and these nice name frames and stuff ek plates is the stuff to have. Now this add-on doesn't have settings, so you need to go into the config.lua or something, into the add-ons folder and set up some stuff yourself, like whether you want numeric number, uh, numeric style or not. Well, this add-on does that, but you know, you, you need to have, I mean, you don't have to have like a Lua knowledge of programming, but you need to know where the configs are and stuff. I think it's explained on their website, maybe. Uh, Flate plate buffs is something that Alts UI as well have, so if you see, Right now, Alt UI tells me that I have Blood Plague on this guy and I have Decomposing Aura or something. Well, Flight Plate Buffs does the same if you don't have Alt UI, let's say. So, if you want to set up certain functionalities from Alt UI, I also have some add-ons that I have done that myself. Using the normal Blizzard UI, that's what it does. Gutter Mate, it's, uh, it's an add-on where you farm uh, like Herbalism and Mining and stuff. It shows you the Mining nodes and Herbalism nodes on the minimap, I mean on the map. So when you open up the map and you're farming, it will show you where all the things can spawn. And you can also download the data from uh, from uh, Wowhead or whatever. So yeah, Hadouken doesn't work. Uh, little bag, it's uh, uh, yeah, light bag actually. It's an add-on that uh, it's, it's similar to Bagnon, but just prefer I prefer light bag uh, for for my bag instead of Bagnon. I don't know, I kind of find it better. Little Wings is the one that I mentioned before that uh, shows the cooldowns and all that stuff from bosses and stuff in dungeons. Loot Appraiser is an add-on that when you are going into farming and you loot a lot of stuff, Loot Appraiser can pop in and ask you, oh, do you want to open up a Loot Appraiser session? It will count everything that you're looting, like how much is on auction house price, how much is this on vendor and all that stuff, and gives you like nice, okay, you're farming right now with this much gold per hour. You're farming this, this many items and all that stuff. So that's Loot Appraiser. The challenge here is an add-on that you can... Invite your friends and uh, invite them to loot appraiser challenge and you can compete with each other who loots more and all that stuff that we have done a lot on the stream as well. Uh, mask, I don't know why I have mask. It's, you know, it's like uh, recoloring your frames. So if you don't use any add-on like, I mean, any UI like Alts UI or something, mask is uh, used to recolor your uh, your frames like dark or grunge or uh, renators or something. Yeah, so minimum minimap button bag is an add-on that... Uh, you know, combines all the minimap buttons, like you see all these buttons here. Well, it combines them into one little button, and when you click on it, it expands and it tells you, you know. So if you're using like normal UI without having this uh, nice sorting out the, of the buttons, 
really handy add-on. I can recommend you. I cannot recommend you more. Uh, it's really nice add-on. So O Glow comes with uh, Alt UI, as you can see. Make your shiny items glow in the dark. Right. Yeah, I, I think that's something with the bag. So maybe this, you know, maybe like this glows and stuff. So yeah, that's uh, what uh, O Glow does. O item level. I think it uh, it, it just shows you in the tooltip what this guy has, like how much item level this guy has and all that. I don't, I, it's laggy sometimes, so that's, that's why I disabled. Overwatch the UI, it's one of my second favorite UI because it puts the frames of Overwatch for your character frames and stuff. It's really nice, but some people don't like it, I kind of find it, you know, fancy. Uh, party ability bars, it's an uh, add-on that shows you from your party and from your raid the ability bars, like when this guy has tranquility cooldown, when this guy has uh, combat res or all that stuff. If you need that information, party ability bar does it, but sometimes it's laggy, so I think there is an alternative to, to that. Just this f f worked for me, but yeah. Raider uh, IO, it's when you're searching for, a, like when you're making a group, like pack group, into looking for group uh, thingy. Uh, when people apply Raider you, uh, IO, t tells you how much th these guys have completed Mythic Plus, how many uh, bosses they have done in certain raid or something like that. It's nice add-on if you're making pugs uh, quite often, and I do, so that's why I have it. Uh, roots is an add-on that you can create roots for farming, so you can, uh, you know, it, it will, it, it can take the getter made data and c can create auto root for you, but you can also optimize the root by yourself, no problemo. Sim permute is an add-on that I have done video about that, I'll probably link it in the description. Like, Sim permute is an add-on that, uh, you know, takes all the gear from, uh, from you and, uh, like, wait. Oh, it's not enabled. Well, never mind. It just you can select which gear you want to like sim simulate and stuff. Simulation craft is similar stuff. So basically, simulation craft gives you this stuff here that tells you, okay, this is what shoulders I have. This is what I have in my bags and stuff. Just sim permute does it better. Let's say, right? Uh, stat weight score and it's used for d different purposes as well. So I mean, simulation craft is simple. It's enough. Just buy, get simulation craft if you if you want to simulate your chart. Stat weight score. It's if you find your stat score, you can imp uh, you can not import, but you can type them manually into the into this add-on. And uh, every time you loot an item, on the item you're gonna have like, okay, this item gives you this much percentage, or it's better or it's worse or something based on the stat stats value that you put inside. SUI, as you can see, is an add-on, uh, uh, another add-on uh, done by my friend Siana. Really nice. Uh, it, it transforms your default Blizzard UI. Uh, into some darkened Blizzard UI with a lot more functionalities and it's mo ma mainly done for PvP but also it's it's really nice for P PvE as well. I have used it and I recommend it but Alt UI is something I'd like better to be honest. TomTom, uh, -tom, it's uh, an arrow so you can type slash way uh, coordinates and it will put an arrow on your on your screen and a lot more you know like I don't want to go into, into details here I will post in the blog link uh, in the description, I will give you like a better description of the add-ons, let's say, what it does and all that. Trade Skill Master, self-explanatory, I don't use it for PvE, that's why I disabled, but Trade Skill Master, it's, I have done full guide on that, currently I'm using Trade Skill Master 4, I'm gonna make a guide about that as well, but it's basically used for auctioning, buying, mailing, shopping, all that stuff, like Trade Skill Master is a, is a lesson, by like, it's a, it deserves a separate video to just explain what it does. Vex runes, it's this here, so, wait, Vex runes, really nice looking, uh, you see, really nice looking uh, runes for you with cooldowns and stuff, I like it, and also Sapphires that made me the, the weak hours that I'm currently using, he's recommended me this add-on, I really liked it and I continue using, so, weak hours is an add-on, you see this, all these cooldowns and this stuff here and what else? Like a lot of stuffs are coming from weak auras on my UI. Uh, it's basically for checking cooldowns from you, debuffs, buffs, and all that stuff on everyone around you. World Quest Party. I should delete this. It, I I mean, World Quest Tracker does the same stuff. So, you know, World Quest Tracker is an add-on that uh, you see when you open up World Quests, it tells you it tells you which uh, World Quest gives you what. Uh, and yeah, you know, and it creates like a party when you go into the world quest area and uh, you're starting a world quest or something, it will pop up a mini frame and tells you, and it asks you, do you want to, uh, you know, join some group? Do you want to make your own group? Do you want to invite people around you? All that stuff. 
Zygor Guides Viewer, as I said, it's a, a leveling add-on that has a lot of, like... This is... I haven't paid for the, it, by the way. Uh, a, a viewer of mine on Discord gave it uh, to me, like a gift. So, you know, I have it, but I, I think I wouldn't buy it. If, if I... I mean, I wouldn't pay for uh, for WoW UI, uh, for WoW add-on, I think, because you have alternatives for everything uh, these days. So, you know, if you don't want to pay as well, auto Azeroth autopilot is completely fine to use. Now, that's how this looks like. Uh, big wings. I show you how it looks like. If you have any questions uh, about certain add-on, if you want uh, any settings to be shared with you. I can share them, uh, I will make uh, on the blog post, I make like uh, some sh sharing strings and stuff. And that's pretty much all guys, uh, for, for this stuff. I will, you know, I will just wait for you to comment in the comments, sorry. I will wait for you to comment in the comment section below. Uh, and if you have any questions or something, I'll tend to answer them uh, instantly. If you like this video, if you like this stuff, feel free to like it. It helps a lot, and also dislike. I mean, even dislikes help, guys, because it helps me to know what your feedback is and whether you like this kind of video. And if you dislike it, please just give me an uh, opinion below why you disliked it, so I can actually improve. You know, because leaving a dislike without explaining why you, you're doing it is really uh, not, not helping me at all, at all, to be honest. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want this kind of videos, and also thank you to all, all the patrons that are being supporting me on the way. All of the you guys, I love you much. It, it's really insane because these videos basically are brought to you by Patreons and the, by the people that are supporting me around and watching the videos and commenting and liking and all those stuff. So your support means a lot to me to continue doing this stuff because uh, I need to pay the bills somehow, right? So anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Stay cool. Listen to your parents, be good boys. Battle Fist. And until the next time, much love, no homo. All the questions, I'm waiting for them below. And see you in the next one. Umreno.